Good morning, sweet ladies. Thank you for joining us in Far Above Rubies today. I'm so very glad that each of you are here. Today we are taking a look at Acts chapter 27 and talking about the thought, when the sun is blotted out. We're going to read verses 25 and 26 together, and they say this. So take courage, for I believe God. It will be just as he said, but we will be shipwrecked on an island. Now that sounds like the best of news and the worst of news all at the same time. Take courage. I believe God it will be just as he said, but we will be shipwrecked on an island. In this passage, Paul is on a ship to see Caesar. He has been passed from hand to hand in the government of Rome, and he has finally made an appeal to Caesar to be set free. A storm arises, which Paul prophesied earlier in this passage, and this storm, as the scripture tells us, blotted out the sun for more than two weeks. They're on the open sea. It's so bad of a storm that for two solid weeks they do not see the sun shine. They survive this storm, all 276 souls aboard this ship, but their ship is lost. It is shipwrecked. Paul gives this encouragement part way through this storm he tells the men aboard and the leaders aboard this ship that an angel from god has talked to him in the night that he gave him this word that he would stand before caesar that god would make sure god would make sure that paul stood before caesar to give his testimony but that they would be shipwrecked he said if everyone listened to paul that they would all survive. All lives would be spared if they listened. And we see the story play out. Read the story. It's a good story. We see the story say, uh, play out and they are all saved, but they are shipwrecked on an island for I believe over three months is the, is the time frame. What we learn from this passage, what we learn from this story is that dark seasons come. There's no way around them. Dark seasons come. Trust God anyway. Believe God anyway. Believe his word to you anyway. Trust him when you haven't seen the sun in a while and you don't know when you're going to see it again. Trust him. Believe him. Believe in his word, even if it feels like that word is so far behind you that you can hardly remember what it was. Stand on the promises of God, for he is faithful to fulfill them. Believe he will do as he said, even when you cannot see the other side of your storm. There was no time frame given when Paul has this um, supernatural encounter with the angel from the Lord. The angel from the Lord didn't say, okay, Paul, you only have seven more days left in this storm and everything's going to be okay. That's not what happened. He simply said, God will make sure you stand before Caesar and all of your lives will be spared, but the ship will be lost. Hang in there. That's what the angel said. He didn't give him a time frame. He didn't tell him it's almost over. Just 48 hours left. You could do it. We don't always know when we're going to see the sun next when we're living in the dark season of our lives. We don't always know when the storm is going to be over. We don't always know when that sun that has been blotted out in our lives is going to come back and brighten things up again and let us see blue sky and hear birds sing. We don't always know when that's coming. Trust God anyway. Let his word, let the words he has spoken to your life directly be that lifeboat that you need. Let it be that assurance that you need to stand firm through the dark season, through the trial. Let it hold you. Let it keep you. Let it be your anchor that stops you from being tossed to and fro by the waves. It's easy to believe in God, Paul said, standing on this ship that was being tossed to and fro, he said, I believe God. It will be just as he said. It's easy to say those words when you're standing on Mars Hill, Paul, in the middle of Athens, Paul, preaching this miraculous message, this revelatory message to the people of Athens about who God is and how they can come to know him. It's easy to stand and say, I believe God when you're standing on Mars Hill, Paul, but it's not so easy. It takes a lot of trust and it takes a lot of 
space from deep down within your your soul to stand on the deck of a ship that's being torn apart by the ocean waves and the sun has been gone for so many days you can't remember what it looks like to stand there and say I believe God it will be just as he said friend if you're standing on the deck of that ship right now if that's where your life is stand firm and believe God take courage because I believe God for you believe God with me believe God believe that it will be just as he said trust him anyway even when the Sun is blotted out trust him anyway go and read Acts chapter 27 and be encouraged today be encouraged today stand firmly on the word God has spoken into your life stand firmly on the word God has spoken into your life if no one has told you lately you are loved and you are cherished and you are valuable you have beautiful and tremendous worth my friend and that worth is far above rubies thank you for being here with me today and I will see you all again tomorrow God bless you.